Welcome back to Vintage Story. In this episode I decide to build a greenhouse but because what I build resembles a conservatory I'm afraid I refer to it throughout as a conservatory. Just live with it guys. I did not feel like re-recording the whole lot. Welcome back to Vintage Story. I've decided it's time to build a greenhouse. Now I'm in a desert environment and I know that where it says greenhouse, it says do not build a greenhouse. If you are in a hot environment, do not torture your soybeans, but, and it's a huge but, I'm not in a full desert. I've got the low fertility soil here, and I'm not too sure exactly um, how cold it's gonna get. And I'm starting to get just a little bit worried. So, if you look at the temperature, it's 27 outside in October, but it gets a lot colder at night in the deserts. So I think I'm going to play it safe and I'm going to build a conservatory. Now, this is not going to be an all singing, all dancing, seriously pretty conservatory. This is going to be a very, very practical conservatory. And the first thing I'm going to need is to work out where I am going to put it. So let's grab, come here. Uh, I need some cobblestone. Let's start with you. Right. Now, conservatories need to be seven by seven internally. And also guys, incidentally, they have changed the internal um, arrangements of the cellars it used to be six by six but it's seven by seven now so that we can link in with the same game mechanic now how many one two three four five six seven how incredibly convenient is that 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 is seven wide right <laughs> let's start harvesting the glass Right, now, the next thing to do is to work out what level I want this at. And I'm going to want the doorway, of course, in the middle. One, two, three. Right, we'll just move this pile of peat, shall we? There we go. Right, well, where should we put this? Somewhere sensible. Let's park it by a pillar. Why not? Okay. Now working this out, three. I'm going to put the middle one there and I want the ground level to be level with this. Now, it's one thing to talk about the ground level, but I want to do seven by seven, and I want to put water in the middle. And that means that where I put the earth, I'm going to actually have to count the layer beneath the water as the bottom layer. I know you can count the farmland as the bottom layer, but it says that if you have water, you have to have a full block beneath it and it's going to be dropped down one to make the water look right. So that needs to be all planned into consideration. I've got some of the foundation already. I'm, as usual, built in this area, building over the void. So I'm going to come back to you when I've carved out a little bit more of this. Right guys, what I want to do is, that is my seven. I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, yeah, I need to go out a bit more, don't I? Um, let's just put some earth there to make life a tad easier. Right, now, so that's 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to put seven. But of course, if the internal measurement oh, is seven, then we need to go eight here. Right, let's just get that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the internal, eight is the external. Right, so that's going to go across there isn't it we'll have to go down and get these tomorrow if we want to in fact it's worth getting all the stone because i build so many paths right and of course this isn't going to be what soil will be in here but this will be the soil level right that's a chimney so that's not going to alter and we're going to go out at that level so let's put that there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Digging the whole thing out. And frankly, even if I don't use it, I want the experience of building these things. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the internal look. And then that's the eight. Right, let's just take that down. Now, the height has to be seven is the maximum. But we don't have to go up that far. We can go up, I think that's one, two, three, four, five. And in fact, I'm counting from down here because that's where the water will be. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. It will be six high. That's absolutely fine. Let's put that top layer in. That's it. So just counting again. One, two, three, four. I know that's too wide. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fine. That proportion is going to work well. One, two, three. That's going to be the top layer, isn't it? One, two, three. Up there. Yep. Good. Now, I was thinking of putting earth under here to save cobblestone, but I don't want to do that. And the reason I don't want to do that is that if I'm digging at all with a hoe or anything like that, the possibility of digging through the earth and having to sort of rebuild the thing is quite high, which I don't want to do. Yeah, that's good. More cobblestone needed. I think I've got some more down here pick up some more. I may have to go and take down a few ruins to get some more cobblestone. I build a lot with cobblestone. Right. Nice. Yeah, we'll have that out. Just in the interest of not inadvertently going through the walls. Right, I'm going to have to take this down. Um, I need some torches, I think, out here. Just put a couple down. 
So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and our bottom layer is going to be there. Right, I'll come back to you in a minute. Right guys, I've come up here to have a look at what I'm building and I don't like it that high. I'm going to drop it down one to match the rest of the build and I'm going to put stone brick along here if I have enough. Uh, let's see whether that works. Let's go and have a look at that. And I have a load of glass with me. Now I'm going to put full block. You can use half blocks but for the sides I want to use full blocks. So let's go over here. So we're going to have to, we're going to do it too high there and too high there. There we go. Too high here. Yes, we will be taking out now. You don't have to make these things square, I know that, but uh, I put a door on, and of course, this has to be filled in as well, right. Okay, but on the roof, I am going to put horizontal slabs. When I've decided where the roof is going to be, now let's see how many stone brick blocks I have. I'm not sure I've got enough. I'm going to have to find some more ruins underground and rake them out. Or go back to my old base where I have some there. Let's have a look. Um, they'll be over here. I've got 36. That's pr probably going to be enough. Let's just put a... Move that out temporarily. Because we're going to knock all this out. Having so carefully and laboriously built it, which is fine. Um, think about that corner later. Right. needs to come out. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's looking better. Gradually getting something that may not be a normal conservatory, but that fits our particular build, which is the, the key thing here. Yeah, that's right. I'm happy with that. Now, have I got all my blocks down there? No, we're all right. Got masses of drifters. Let's have a look on the other side and see if we can, uh, in fact, let's just pop that in there. Right, come past the display cases. Um, I want to get through to the other side. I'm trying. How do you think how to do that? Right, let's go around up here uh, through the door, perhaps. Yes, that's right, isn't it, guys? Looks much, much better that way. Yeah, we've got some blocks down here. 
Right, guys, having a look at this, I am thinking that if I half slab the top, I won't get anything living on top of it. And round over here, I have a half slab of polished stone over the top. And I can match that in with what I've done on the chimney so that we have a half slab and then we can half slab the glass and I think the half slab yeah I think that would look good right where are my uh, polished half slabs there and have I got any more I think I may have let's have a quick look down here Okay, right, let's go and half slab the top up there. Oops, I've missed a ladder. Come on. And my gut feeling it has to be, well, of course, it has to be the bottom half if you don't want anything to spawn. But, oh, wonderful. Yeah, I can I can say vertical only, but let's just right, guys. I have got the bulk of the building made, and it is seven by seven on the inside. It's not very tall, but that's fine. It'll be okay. I'm now going to put the earth in here now I might not need this I'm in a very warm area so there's a very fine chance I won't need it so I don't want to put terra preta in I'm going to put the normal uh, medium soil which is up here let's just get rid of those off my bar uh, I've got so much low fertility soil from that digging exercise let's just park those in there Me right now let's pop this in there we go and the size of this is quite clearly determined by how much soil you can water with one block so yeah right now let's put some water in the middle is it shift click or no it's control click these days isn't it yeah okay fill my water bucket I do need let's just put some torches up temporarily we will need better light than this but at the moment let's just do what we need to keep the drifters out now I need a hoe well guys look at this plus five percent I just looked at it and it said plus five percent there you are bottom line at the top and that tells me that this is functioning as a greenhouse right now at the moment that means if the temperature outside yeah it says outside temperature 26 degrees c that's 31 and that's in october i may not need the greenhouse but i'm not sure i see october november december i'm not sure how cold it's going to go in this sort of semi-desert region and I think that fits in with the build very well if it turns out I don't need it I can always turn that into something useful but at the moment we'll just keep where it is let's have a look from up here yeah that's fine and nothing should spawn on that roof we just need one little bit more fence and then we will call that a complete build
So guys, I've built a greenhouse. A quick couple of reminders. The roof needs to be a certain proportion of glass and it's got to be at least 50% transparent. So glass would do and you could use quartz glass or coloured glass, any glass, it's not specific about it. The walls and the ceiling can be whole blocks or slabs, but the ground underneath it has to be full, full blocks. You can't use slabs as a base for a greenhouse, it has to be full blocks. Now the other thing is that when you first build it, when you look down, can you see I've got plus 5% from a greenhouse? That takes time. It was several minutes before it picked it up. It, now I shall wait and see whether I actually need a greenhouse in a desert. I may well not. And if it turns out that I have built it and I don't need it as a greenhouse, it's been built in the same style as the rest of the building which means that I can repurpose it very easily for something else or I might just use it as an extra growing room by taking the roof off that would not be hard so guys I've built my first greenhouse bye bye